Good morning, family. Welcome to Manor. Pastor Kenneth Rioland here with you this morning. Hope you are doing well. Uh, for a few moments, I just uh, want to talk about uh, planning. Planning. So, um, it's today is the 29th of December. Wow. This year is coming to an end. Uh, none too soon, I might add. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know that many of us are uh, have we have uh, uh, New Year's resolutions, and uh, we're excited about this coming Friday because it will be the beginning of a new year, and we've got uh, hope and expectation and excitement about the new year. But but I, I want to suggest all of those things are great. Um, but I've I've seen a few New Year's come in, and there's nothing magical about that day. Uh, we feel different. We think different. That's great. But it's still uh, another day that we have to execute. Um, and so uh, my way of approaching the new year is not to wait until New Year's Day, but to start planning in advance. I've been working on some thoughts and some desires and plans uh, for quite some time now as I approach the new year uh, because because it's too late to put the umbrella up once it starts raining. You've already gotten wet. Somebody will catch that in the morning. And so what I want to say is let's do something today, something toward your goal, something toward your desire. If you want to lose weight, let's let's walk a little bit today. If you want to change your eating habits, let's let's put a little less salt on today. Let's eat a few less carbs today. Listen, you may need to prepare for that hard conversation, that difficult conversation that you got to have as you begin to strip away some folk that are holding on as dead weight. I, I don't know you're going to write the book, at least come up with the title today. Let's let's start doing something. You, you're going to start this new business? Then then let's start working on the business plan today. Why why put off until tomorrow what, what we can do today? Proverbs helps us understand the importance of planning. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 5 says, the plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. When we do it hastily, we tend to mess it up. But if we would plan, uh, it would lead to a place of abundance. Of course, we must put it in the hands of the Lord. But I, I want to just encourage you. Let's start doing something today to help make us great tomorrow. I, I'm excited about the new year and I know you are too. But let's start working on it now so that we'll be ready when it comes. Speaking of the new year, this coming Thursday night at 8 p.m. at uh, the Paramount Baptist Church and all of our outlets, uh, you will uh, see our broadcast of our New Year's Eve service, 8 p.m. You can catch us on our website, on the app, on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever you normally find us. Those of you that dial in, you can dial in as well. We're excited. God is going to do some great things uh, in this coming year, and we're going to talk a little bit about that as we close out 20, 20, 8 p.m. this coming Thursday night. I love you with the love of our Lord. There's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Don't you forget it. Here at Paramount Baptist Church, we are one. Have a great day.